Coloring STL at the Missouri History Museum invites you to explore the city's architecture by coloring all the walls. From famous landmarks to family homes, St. Louis buildings of every era, shape, and size have fascinating stories to tell. Families can get an up-close look at decorative elements including stained glass and sculpture and learn about the designers who left their mark on the city. Let's get coloring. We'll provide the history. You provide the imagination. Admission is free. Visit mohistory.org slash coloring dash STL for details. STL Sproutcast. Hello and welcome to STL Sproutcast, a podcast that takes you behind the scenes with people who produce engaging, enriching, educational, and fun St. Louis area activities and events. We're your hosts, St. Louis Sprout and About publisher Becky Maislin and Managing Editor Kathy Dieters. Summer is just around the corner, so now is the time to start planning your child's summer camp adventures. Today's guest is taking us behind the scenes at one of the region's top camps, where kids can dance, sing, act, cook, make films, study, fashion, and more. Today we're talking with Abby Frohn, Director of Marketing at the Center of Creative Arts, to find out what campers can look forward to this summer at COCA. Thanks for talking with us today. Sure, thanks for having me. First, tell us a little about COCA. COCA is, um, or as you said, the Center of Creative Arts, is a multidisciplinary arts center in University City. We've been here since 19, or 1986, so more than 30 years now. Um, we offer camps, classes, and performances all year long. Uh, we firmly believe that the arts are for everyone, and our mission is to enrich lives and build community through the arts. How many summer art camps are you offering in 2023? Uh, The most ever, actually. Uh, We have more than 300 camps that we'll be running this summer. What types of things can kids explore at COCA Summer Art Camps? So our camps have uh, dance, theater, visual arts. Um, It's really a time for your child to explore a wide variety of arts disciplines and just have a really great time doing it. COCA's camps are taught by teaching artists who also work professionally as exhibited artists and performers throughout the region. Can you tell us a little about some of the instructors leading this year's camps? So a lot of our teaching artists work at COCA throughout the year and teach our students in our regular semester classes. Um, And they come from a wide range of backgrounds and um, are professionals in the disciplines that they teach. So it's really an extension of what they do. And they love it so much that they want to teach others how to do it. COCA is always on top of what's popular, offering camps each year that are themed to what's trending. Any new camps you're particularly excited about for summer 2023? Uh, For this year, in my house, it was Creating Bluey, um, which was on my daughter's must-do list. So we're very excited for that. We are offering camps based on the Dogman book and Kanto, which was very popular last year. The Minions, Super Mario Brothers. There's a movie coming out in a little bit. Black Panther. We also have what I call our our favorites in circus. And then Harry Potter has been popular for years and years and years. I think I saw some Adventist family camps maybe in there too for Wednesday fans. Oh, yes. Uh, With, yeah, with the Wednesday fans coming out, there's um, a camp called Pugsley. Very cool. I love your mission to ignite creativity. How do kids benefit from having a creative outlet? So creative expression is vital for all children. The arts are a great way to channel that energy and learn just really valuable life skills. And summer is about taking a break and having fun. So at the core, our camps are about fun and exploring what interests your child. And it's a kind of a happy side effect to learn and grow with that. But at the core, have fun. Take a break from school. How do we reach kids who maybe haven't shown an interest in the arts before? I think that's where our themes really come into play, where you're going with a topic that interests you, not necessarily in arts. So um, something like Super Mario Brothers, where you just you love it so much and you want to explore different things in it. So you not, may not even realize you're doing art, but you're still having fun and engaging with a topic you love with other kids that love that too. What ages can participate in COCA's summer programming? Our camp started three years old. 
uh, and we have wonderful early childhood staff that really work with those kids and you know a lot of gross motor skill development and exploring and just having a lot of fun with other kids their age and we go all the way up to 18 years old and some of our teen intensives can go up to 21 so um, a little of everything for everybody and our camps are also designed in age groups so kids are really working with their peers and we can really focus on age appropriate activities for each level. We'll be right back after this brief message. Start planning your child's summer adventures with St. Louis Sprout and About's virtual camp fair. Get the latest in new offerings from the area's best summer camps and programs. Score special early bird savings and find activities for every child's interests. Visit the virtual camp fair at stlsprout.com and click on summer camps. New camps are always joining Sprout and About's virtual camp there, so be sure to check back often. So, Abby, when do the 2023 camps start? Our camps start just after Memorial Day on May 30th, and we run throughout the summer to August 18th. Great. Where do the camps meet? I'm at our campus in University City. Um, we are just off the Delmar Loop, so very easy to find and pretty centrally located. And do you offer programs for a variety of skill levels? Most of our camps are designed to be um, no experience required. And that's what camp's about. It's about trying something new or just having fun or seeing something different or just trying something. So, uh, you know, when you get more into something, there may be a low level of experience required, but the majority is just everybody's on the same level of starting. Okay, great. What makes Coca Summer Art Camp so unique? Um, I think we keep fun at the core. Camp is supposed to be fun. You're supposed to let loose. You're supposed to do something new. And we want to make sure that each and every camper has that experience. And we also meet kids where they are and cater to what they love. And That is the biggest thing that, you know, we can give them. And we also have this incredible team of teaching artists that not only make it a fun experience, but they also take away, kids will also take away something from the camp as well, maybe not realizing it, but they will. In addition to offering educational programs and camps throughout the year, COCA also hosts onstage performances. Can we get a little preview of your upcoming shows? So we have our dance program season culminating performance, Triumphant coming up May 5th through 7th. And this is where our graduating seniors take the stage for the final time. It is one of our most powerful performances of the year. And it's really incredible to see what our students have grown to become and the performers that they are. And we also have three summer camp musicals this summer. We have Moana Jr. And that's our first musical. So these kids are doing a musical for the first time. And it's really adorable to see them learn and explore and how excited they get when they can present what they've done over the past couple weeks in camp. And then we also have the Lion King Jr. and Mean Girls Jr. So we had lots of kids come out to audition for these shows. And uh, several years ago, we had the Lion King Jr. And it was visually stunning and incredible to see what these kids put on. Is there anything else you'd like to share today? Um, I do want to let people know that we do offer a sliding scale for our camps. At COCA, we do not want a cost to be a barrier to any family, so we encourage everyone to apply. Thanks to our guest, Abby Frone, for chatting with us today. COCA makes camp convenient for families, with morning, afternoon, and full day options available, as well as before and after care. For more information about COCA Summer Art Camps, visit cocastl.org. COCA Summer Art Camps fill quickly, so reserve your spot today. For more information about other summer camps in the St. Louis area, visit our virtual camp fair at stlsprout.com. If you have questions about today's podcast or suggestions for future STL Sproutcasts, visit stlsprout.com and click the podcast menu tab to send us a message. You can also visit us on Facebook or Instagram at STL Sproutcast. If you liked what you heard today, be sure to leave us a review wherever you get your podcasts and share STL Sproutcast with your friends and family. As always, for more fun things to do with your family in the St. Louis area, visit stlsprout.com, where you'll find the latest news and events from your favorite destinations. While you're there, 
be sure to subscribe to our free e-newsletters. Sprout out!